Hello. This is video game time. Time for video game. Now you might be asking yourself, if it's time for video game, how come I don't see video game? Because I'm slow to click on things. And I just start talking when I'm not ready for some reason. There you go. Video games, you happy now? God. We're gonna do some, some salmon game for a minute. I got, I got like one, one eye on the game, other eye on the drop frames. It's gonna be hard to, hard to play with my vision all fucked up, but could do my best. Last time, for some reason, it just decided to explode and just be like, nah, dude, that, that 60, uh, 60, uh, the 6k bit rate you got going. Now, nah, what if it was like 1k? Just kidding. What if it was like 300? You know, what if it was just like 4k and it was just bouncing all over the place? What are you booing on about? I thought you were. I thought he was pointing me in the direction of the dudes to shoot. So is my mic even? Okay, we're good. I think I like blacked out for a minute. Just forgot if, I for, just forgot I was streaming, I guess. Yeah, I've only done one uh, match of this like current set of Sand Run stuff. But the fact that there's a roller there does not bode well for my chances. Yo, where are you taking those? Egg. Oh, we can still get that. Can we still get that? I'm gonna fucking die. These ones are the worst. Because they just hang out as far away from you as possible. Oh, we're not, we're not making it out of here. Yeah, any, any salmon run setup that has weapons where like I have to wait to shoot like this or like a sniper or something, I just do horrible. I don't even need to climb up there. Just do that and let somebody else grab it. Okay, never mind. We're good. I thought he'd like joint the egg and just let the one zoom in. gonna kill my okay dude. I thought I was gonna kill my my pal oh you know what good yo get me out of here get me out of here I don't wanna I don't wanna be here and we're losing anyways but Hold on, hold on, hold on. If I mash hard enough. Get me out of here. Wait it out. 
A day on I shouldn't be alive. All right, so now when we inevitably lose wave three, everybody can just know that we only got this far because of me. So if I just decide, hey, throw this round, who cares if this is my round to, to waste? Get me up. No, get the corner, please. You know what? I guess we're just not going that way. I guess we're just not going anywhere. You and me, dude. I will wait over here as long as I have to. This ain't going very well at all. Keep running out of fucking ink way too quick. Look at all those eggs. You know what the problem was? I got, I just... I was two cracks during that second round. All my juices just evaporated by the time I got to round three. But that's fine though, because we're gonna we're gonna get a new team. Trade these guys in for somebody that can carry me. And once I get some of this coffee uh, flowing through my veins. That's that's when the eggs will start just rolling in. I gotta say, I'm not a fan of the balancing for Salmon Run. Because, like... Alright, so, say you get through all three rounds, right? Then you get points so you can, like, increase your rank and stuff. And that's why I'm at, like, professional plus two. But the thing is, at Professional Plus 2, I am never going to beat the boss when he shows up. That's just not going to happen. So as a result, I just keep getting like increased uh, level and it just makes the, the boss at the end more and more impossible to fight because you don't lose anything from losing to the boss. There are no, there's no downsides to losing to the boss, which is fine because it's, you know, it's an extra way. Like, you shouldn't be penalized for losing something you weren't even expecting to happen. But at the same time, like, if I'm just going to keep going higher, higher up in level, like, I'm never going to beat that extra way. Unless they decide to, like, balance the extra wave like separately which I it's kind of what they should probably do oh hey like the way it seems like it is, is the extra wave is just like alright well what if we cranked up the difficulty even higher and gave you a fucked up boss and what it should be is just here's like the same difficulty level of like wave two or three and then they add a boss on top. Oh, I didn't even put the fucking thing in there. Okay. 
wow, that, I, three in a row where I thought I had an egg. It's like, why, why is, why did the egg go cool? I don't get it. I've only beaten extra wave once. Yeah, same here. I beat it once, like the day the game came out because it was on like his baby easy mode and then never again. So like, like you can level down your, your like job ranking, but that just makes it so like if you ever want to get the rewards for beating the, the boss, which is like the like special like cosmetics and stuff. Oh, that was smart. Like the special cosmetics and stuff. Like as far as I can tell, you get like the bronze stuff for just fighting him. Like by making it to the extra wave, you get the bronze like flames or whatever. And then like I don't know exactly what you have to do to get the gold and like silver ones but, like i have a couple silver ones so it's not like you have to beat it every time i don't know but like if i can never beat the fucking thing it means i'm just gonna have to keep leveling down in order to actually like get anywhere but then that makes it so that i'm gonna be stuck doing like really easy like salmon run normally it's weird <laughs> i know we've got eggs out here man so is that everybody over here just killing Yeah, yeah, getting silver for halfway, that makes sense. No, it doesn't, it probably doesn't help that, like, half the time, like, I get stuck with weapons that I'm just, I never use in multiplayer, so I'm not that good at using them in general. Oh, that was almost real bad. I almost went right off into the, the goo. No, let me move, please. I don't know if this guy knows that he can move once he's like down. stash over here. The map's worth notice too. Yeah, there are a lot of times where like, like we were doing good during like one of the, the boss fights. But like, I got stuck in like a corner because the boss is so fucking huge. I can't get past him. And I died in the corner and somebody, so being the kind fellow they are, came over and revived me, endangering himself just so I could die again because I still can't get out of the fucking cube I'm stuck in. And it's like if I wasn't over here just dying on repeat, Maybe we could have won. Yeah, I, I never use rollers and uh, really, I don't use most weapons in this game. 
So like when I get rollers or snipers or something in this mode, it's like, all right, I better get them first round or else I am going to lose. How could you still work for this man? Dude, I have no idea. I don't know what the lore here is. Shot Pro, this is the gun that I'm used to. I can use this all fucking day. But it's just a shame that I get it on the easiest of all the maps here. Or the easiest of all the rounds, right? Here. I'm just gonna just flee. Yeah, honestly, like working for Grizz right now, like, gotta pay them bills, dude. I'm sure I've technically worked for people in real life that have committed worse crimes than him. Are you going to be ready for that? Apparently all of us will. It's always a a gamble on whether or not... Is somebody dying there? It's always a gamble on whether or not somebody's going to have enough ink for a, a bomb or if we're just going to be fucking running around for a half an hour trying to deal with that. Stuck over here. If I don't fucking move it. Look, can somebody deal with that? I don't like being shot with lasers from across the map. Pretty solid wave too. At least it's not the dynamo roller, because that thing like I'm sure it hits hard, but like it's so fucking slow, dude. Where um Teamwork makes the dream. What am I doing? I forgot. I keep forgetting that like, yeah, the roller is cool and all, but it don't hit like it doing multiplayer. The squids in multiplayer are squishy. Yeah, 
jump into that twice. Use that there, I guess. Like, can you get revived by your own? Oh, fuck it, sick. That was an expert move, actually. No, grab that, please. Please grab it. Oh man. I did discover the the expert self-revive strategy though. I honestly did not know you could do that, which is if you happen to get that special, then you're good. Uh, we got probably got like two or three more rounds of this to finish my Splatoon dailies. Oh, God. We're on pace to, to fight the boss. We're really looking forward to that one. Somebody's stirring mac and cheese in here. Man, if only Sam Run was that easy. It'd be really fucking boring, actually. Just do, doing free throws. This one's weird. Getting used to the like, it has like widespread and then just switches to like narrow bar shot stuff. It's weird. Didn't hit a single dude with that. That's expert aim. Nah, dude, I can I can get through there, no problem. We just squeak by here. Just let me just slide right on in. I hope that got him. And this professional plus two shit is fucking rough. This is a real man's gun. 
real squids going. This is what I used in Split 1. Apparently, I learned this the other day. Apparently, um, Splatoon 2 and 3, like, do their, like, multiplayer, like, bullet collision check once every four frames. While Splatoon 1 had it once every two frames. So it just... Aiming and like actually hitting dudes is way more responsive in the first game. Now, oh, where are you going? I missed my elevator. Air left? Don't put this kind of pressure on me. Yeah, your uh, pay grade determines how how many boss salmonids it throws at you at once. I think. I mean, that would make sense to me. I just, I don't know if the game ever actually told me that, but I just sort of assume. Yeah, that's why we're just we're just out here losing at professional plus two. But here's here's the trick. All right. I don't tell anybody I told you this, but if you uh, open up this menu here, you can just fucking level yourself down. If you're like, nah, man, this professional plus two shit, this ain't the life for me. You can be like, but what if I was like just professional part timer? Maybe I could. You know what? This is actually a good time to do this because we might actually be able to stand a chance against the boss now. Maybe. But it is weird that you have to, like, self-govern your level to make sure that you're balanced with the boss that it throws at you. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. That's not an egg. Well, we're gonna test something here. Okay, never mind. Guess we're not. Because I know when you throw the egg, it there's like a little ink splat below you, like where you're standing. But I don't know if it does damage or not. It might. It might do a little little bit of damage. A little, little tiny baby bit of damage. Bro, you gotta wake up. All right. He's got a different colored uh, suit, so it is likely that he can carry. He might be willing to carry. I did my part. Hit me so hard I fucking teleport. Oh. 
help the other dude, man. What are you doing? No, I'm just running. I'm leaving. Never mind. I'm dying. When I asked for that dude to carry me, I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. I had to use, oh, I had to use both specials the first wave. I don't think this is the one, boys. Now, honestly, if I was smart, I would just completely throw this match because there's no way we'd be able to beat the boss with this team that we've got. Even, didn't go nearly as far as I needed. Yes, yeah, so nobody wants to deal with these things, so I guess I'm just gonna have to make it my mission in life to just fucking handle these for everybody. Who died? Also, why'd you die? I'm going home. Dude, that booyah is... That ain't gonna get us two eggs. And even if it did... We wouldn't stand a fucking chance. No. Here's how this would go. We would barely squeak by wave two and then immediately wave three. Nothing but Silent Hill fog and glow flies. Wiped out within like 10 seconds. Gotta do the good luck twirl. Hopefully, with a couple good luck twirls in here, we'll get better team. Like, I'm not saying that, like, the teams are bad, but it's not a good sign when I'm the best on the team. Hobo shoe. I can make my calculator say oboe shoes. I think that's just that's just how I'm gonna start doing these streams. Just gonna start saying shit that only I'm gonna understand. Just make references just for me. You, your days are fucking numbered, bud. Oh, wow, he actually got it. I don't know if I can trust these guys to get all these eggs. Oh, hello. All right, you, 
Your days are numbered. Oh, God. Why'd I do, why'd I do that? Why, why, why would I do that? I want, want you to look me in the eyes and tell me why I would do that. Bro, you can't just hang out over here. <laughs> if you're dead, get, go, make an effort. Just start, like, floating your way towards a homie. Because just chilling on the other side of the map is going to do no one any good. Man. This 9 p.m. Salmon Run group ain't cutting it. Is it... Could I be bad at the game? No. It is the children who suffer. I'm, I'm starving for a win over here, man. Was this even... Yeah, my last win, I think, was yesterday. <laughs> Those were completely different weapon sets. Oh, brother. I'm out of the corner of my eye. I guess I'm just gonna have to make it my mission in life to deal with, like, the problem bosses that nobody else does. Like, if I see something that I know is going to kill me in about five minutes, I, I got to go deal with it myself. The team cannot be relied on. This is why I need, like, friends that actually played this game. Because I imagine this would go so much better if, like, it was you and, like, three of your homiest homies all in, like, a Discord call or something. Or God forbid, the Nintendo online voice chat. Being able to actually say, hey, there's a fucking laser dickhead over here. Watch out. Oh, you fuckers. Yeah, these, these weapons are raw. I was I was checking the everybody's favorite Nintendo Switch Online app earlier today while I was at work. Just to see like what's the what salmon run shit's coming up. And apparently like in a couple days or something. I don't know what's going on with the weapons that they have. It's just a bunch of question marks. Like they, like I don't know what is the, 
Is it a secret? Is it just like pure random weapons? Well, mine made it in. Oh, we are under fire. That's the pro strat. Kill one from the top of the other. Is somebody dead over here? Stop it. And now I'm just gonna leave. We got, we hit quota. I'm leaving. So there'd be pure random weapons in the Yeah, so that's probably what it is then. Honestly, I think I don't know if it'll be better with pure random. What am I doing? I don't know if it'll be better with pure random weapons or not. Because on one hand, like I could get a weapon that I'm good with, but on the other hand, like I could get stuck with some bullshit that I didn't even know existed. dying over here. There's no getting out of this situation. All right, Sonic, where, where are you going, buddy? You know what? I'm not going over there. Don't want to be there. That was, that was cool. That was smart. So I wouldn't have been stupid there and went for the, the spawner. We probably could have made it. But at the same time, if we would have made it, I don't know if we would have uh, beaten the boss if it showed up. Give these dudes a second run here. This is like the most I've suffered in a game in a long time. <laughs> feel it though this is the one this is the one where we win either that or it's the one where we get just absolutely obliterated by glow fly are right down here already i wasn't paying attention Oh, 
Oh, you fucker, you pushed me. I was trying to do the, the pro strat. But if you, uh, you can, like, go underneath it and then do like, one of these. And you just zip right back before it even thinks about falling. Yo, you gotta go. I don't want, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how Grizzco is ever going to recover from employing me. The egg markets will never be the same. Yeah, see, that's the st sort of stuff that, like, I hate is, like, I'm right there. And I could shoot him, but I have to wait for my fucking gun to charge. Dude, if I don't get a win, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up get fired, I swear. this many people up here. Bam! Just hit him with one of those. We're golden now. We hit hit quota no problem. Oh no, I got cocky. I'm, I don't want to be there anymore. Yeah, I got a question. Why am I going to play left? I mean, I'm just going to do the strategy of just fucking running away. I don't need more eggs. These guys out here are trying to be overachievers. All right. I don't get paid enough to lose this hard. Losing because you didn't booyah back. Dude, I ain't got time to booyah back. I will booyah back once, you know, we're actually doing good. Once we once we get close to, you no. Know, I swear, if we win this round three, I'm gonna be hammering that booyah button like nobody's fucking business. Why'd he go here? I didn't think he was gonna turn around. And right, I gotta be on the lookout for some of these. Fuck you know what? I'm gonna treat myself. Didn't even kill him. Not even fucking close. Bro, I thought you went behind him. like to purchase one egg. What? Oh.
Bro, just get me up. Never mind, we're good. That's not a booyah. This is, this is a very non booyah moment. All right, place your bets. How how many seconds until we lose? Gonna start throwing shit. Like, I can't get to any of these bosses because this dude is so fucking huge. And this guy's already got this one. I thought that we... I, th I thought we, uh... We colored that, but all right. Yeah, I feel like like we'll get a chunk into his health and be like, oh yeah, this is, I'm feeling all right about this. Seems like we're doing okay. And I look at the time and we've got 30 seconds left. And I can't even like, my brain can't comprehend how much shit's going on. Like, dude, it takes at least five brain cells to deal with the fucking fly fish. And you expect me to do that? while all this is happening. I swear, dude, take me back to Rookie. He got wiped so hard there, and that dude has the audacity to dab. First clear of the day. Get the fuck out of here. It's very fitting that after a, a fucking onslaught of nothing but losses, the one time we win, technically lose. <laughs> I don't want that. I just want one that. Ooh, ooh! I'll take, I'll take that one, dude. Defense up and then double ink saver. Yo, but that one though. Hold on. This is a tough one because that ink resistance as the main skill pretty good but also if i can just charge specials that fucking quick you know we're gonna we're gonna go with that we're gonna go for the nothing but special charge <laughs> yeah like i have two silver ones and it takes 10 to get one of these not to mention, like, the fact that there is shit that costs gold ones, those gold scales are just elusive. And it's so fucking ass backwards that the best way to get the, the good rewards from beating the boss is to be worse at the game. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to, like, pray for good weapons. That's all I can really do. Alright, we're gonna equip this. We're just gonna see 
how how this is gonna go. Now I would love to use a ninja squid piece of gear. But they all look all the ninja squid ones that I've seen so far are like I don't, I don't wanna wear that. I'll go with that and then I guess we'll just keep on what we've got. I kind of just want to do a couple of regular matches just to see how fast this special. How did they know? I want to see how fast this special charges. Actually, I can just do that in here. That's pretty damn quick. But also it's this, so like, I suck at using this. They, sh they really want them to add more, more swords to the game. It's only having two and I don't really like the special for either of them. It's kind of a bummer. I'm trying to think, what would be the best for really fast recharge on specials? And the cooler would be good if people used it. You know, maybe, maybe this one. You know, we'll, we'll try out this one. See how this goes for a, a match or two. I gotta, I gotta play some mode where I'll get at least one win in. <laughs> I couldn't lose the shoot the ground mode. And look how good I'm shooting the ground. Nobody can shoot the ground better than I. I'm telling you, once this match is over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be crowned number one ground shooter. Like, hands down. Unless we lose really, really, really bad. <laughs> oh, that was, I didn't see that there, that was cool. Yo, why's my, my gyro all fucked? Fresh ground is just prime for the shoot. Ideally, I want to just be able to throw out specials. I just want to be able to throw up specials on command whenever. I can see you there. That's what this whole like special does.
especially in charging quite as fast as I would like. The only way we're winning is if we make a, a stealthy push into the enemy territory. So if nobody sneaks up behind me and kills me. Cotton candy colors? No, to me, this is always like the, the Trixie yogurt colors. Yo, we still didn't. Oh, never mind. See if I wouldn't have done that final push. Number one home ground shooter, what I tell you. Yeah, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to get this Trix yogurt. And it was all like the pink and blue one. I don't know if it tasted any different, but it, it, it was the best one. like this special just because like it can do like decent damage to some stuff if you actually get hit by the wave but, like it just it adds so much more shit for the enemy to worry about at once it's like all right i have to focus on jumping over the, the fucking line if i get hit with it i'm gonna take damage they're also gonna know exactly where i am if i get hit with it You know what? That's fair. I respect that. I won a match and the game was like, no, dude, you need to fucking get. No, stop it. Get out of here. some chunks damn people are starting to get those real fucking beefy lockers now i like that one that one looks cool and the inside's all right but i like it all right we'll start over here we'll we'll make our way around Okay, sure. So much. Oh god, some of these have so much shit in them that like the game sort of chugs when you go to open it. I forgot. I was like, that one looks familiar. Like it probably could because it's mine. I think this person might like yellow. Just a. Just a weird hunch that I got. Three pairs of sunglasses on the statue head. That's it's a little overkill, actually. I take that back. Uh, my fantasy star online two character had, I think, five or six pairs of sunglasses on at once. Been grinding those holographic stickers. I don't think I, I haven't gotten any of the holographic ones. Aren't those for hitting uh, like a certain freshness level with each gun? I know that's how you get like the standard stickers for each gun. Hey, level three. I don't think I've uh, hit level three with anything. Eh. 
and I looks like I can't even check while I'm queued up. The Pikachu Fruit Gummy. There's some pretty good names on here. It, it's always interesting, like Xbox usernames and stuff have like their own style. Nintendo usernames have their own style. Like you're not gonna find like a Pikachu emoticon on the Xbox. Just like you're not gonna find a fucking Xbox for me to poop on on anything other than Xbox. Like they have their own genres of usernames. So you wanna be dead, please? Apparently there's like some uh, cool Splatoon 3 hacking already happening or somehow people have gotten it with, I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's an actual like hack or anything, but people have been able to just constantly have special filled for the Tenta missiles. So they just like nonstop flood you with fucking missiles the entire entire match got <laughs> carried by fart god the other day that's a fucking username and a half right there Yo, I'm dead. I'm out of ink, can't dodge, can't shoot. Oh, look at all this real estate over here. All this ground prime for the shoot. This shit ain't gonna splat itself, dude. these things out. All right, I see how it is. All right, just gotta stay alive in their base and just keep causing problems. Also, I think we leveled up the catalog, so we should probably check the store. Okay, we'll do one more and then we'll check the store because we're that close to leveling it up again. Having having a decent enough time, I might might be able to put off finishing Bayonetta two for a little bit longer. I don't know. Should we should we just keep doing Split for a while, or or do we switch to to Bayonetta after a match or two?
Yo, now fruit gummies on my team. Put that out for you guys. You guys can make use of the bolt road over there. I'm leaving. I'm taking no part in that. No part. I heard somebody booyah, so gotta booyah back. It's it's only good manners. Which Splatfest team was I on? I was on Team Fun. So, uh, needless to say, we fucking lost. Like, I wasn't, like... I mean, I wasn't really invested in this Splatfest. Like, the, the topic didn't really do anything for me. So I was kind of just like, all right, my friend picked fun. I guess I'll pick fun. But also at the same time, like, I mean, big man's right there. What, am I going to not pick team big man? That'd be silly. can make that up there. I can throw that up there just to bug people. Who did you come from? Oh, it was the one that was already dead. I see. Yeah, it was kind of surprising to see like, Team Grub just got absolutely no points at all. I got door stuck. Jump, jump to somebody, anybody. Yeah, I'm hoping that the next Splatfest or just Splatfest going forward have better like teams to pick Just having like like the old ones when there's just two to pick from or it's like oh team pancake or waffles and shit like that like I can I can make a hard and fast decision and I can fight to the death over that but when it's like something like if you're stuck on a deserted island, which thing are you gonna take? Like, nobody, nobody in their right mind would pick to bring fun with them. Like this, if this is a life or death situation, like there, there's way more thought that goes into picking like gear or grub. Because like, I, I gotta eat, but I also need like supplies and stuff. I might be able to like make food with the supplies, but I also like, it, it's too much of like, yeah, both of those choices make sense. So I can't like, there's no like pro scub, anti scub, like hot take to, to use. All right, let's go check the store. Catalog level one up. Here's your stuff. Oh, mystery box. 
Oh, it's just a bunch of food tickets. Okay. Apparently there was some sort of like why do you guys gotta be like this, man? It's like they all saw, like every person in the entire fucking lobby here saw how bad Salmon Run went. It's just like, yeah, it sucks, don't it? No, I don't even remember what I was talking about before I saw that. I feel like Men in Black brain wiped. Oh, there's apparently uh, some data mine stuff for this that like little card game thing over here you might get like actual online multiplayer. Like you can actually fight people through the power of the internet. I have, like, I have the star deck and I have like a custom deck that I made, but like I don't I don't know what goes into making a good deck here. I just take what I'm given and it's like, yeah, make something work. Now, as long as they don't go forward from here. All right, so we've completely blocked them off. They can't touch my half. We're safe. Now I just have to focus on uh, building up meter. I haven't played like a ton of this mode, but I like it. It's, it's fun. It's good stuff. I'm a fan. Although I might have uh, started, us, started us out in uh, a bad way. Like, I kind of can't really get into the other half of this without using meter. Too much of my brain to play this. Oh, you could pass and that builds meter? I thought that like pass was pretty much for just yeah, I'm stuck. I got nothing to play. But I guess it makes sense that that builds meter because if you can't play anything your only bet is to actually use a special right, this will give us four right, we might be able to do something with this Because if we do that, we still won't be able to put anything else over there. What we want is whichever one, like, 
Whichever one costs them the most. And that drops them down to 69. But also, I think I could... I could fit this in here if I needed to. You know, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Fuck it, you know. Well, shit. Oh, this is gonna be such a waste. Cause like, I guess sure I get a block of meter, but I can't build up enough meter during this to really use it. You know, we, we might be good if they don't use their meter. We might have enough just from this to win. Never mind. Wait, did we tie? We might have tied. I don't know what happens if we tie. No, I won. We're good. Fucking barely, though. We'll do another one of these. We'll go with the starter deck. I think I unlocked card sleeves at some point but i don't know how to equip them you know it's probably in like the deck builder thing you probably assign them to each deck you know you, you got a sleeve from uh Doing something in the, the app. I don't know if I've actually gotten any from playing the game normally. Now, I'm not sure what determines who puts their ink down first. I guess it's probably whoever's in the lead puts theirs down first. And that's what I would how I would imagine this would go. Can I fit any of this? I can. Yeah, we're gonna have to go that way because if I do it the other, there's no... A higher value goes first. Okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't. I don't think we're winning this one. He's, he's got like roots too deep into our base. somewhere I can <laughs> get into their base and just cause as much problems as possible I got two meters Yeah, I've really got no good uh, setup here to get any more meter besides just deciding, yeah, I'm just gonna go on hold for a turn. And I guess at the very least I can... Oh, fuck me. I don't, I don't think we're winning this one.
Yeah, don't you have to throw one away when you pass? I forgot about that. All right, hold on. Can we put this anywhere that will get us... If we put it there, it'll get us one more cube of meter. Is there any better spots for it? Not that I can see. All right, we'll go with that. I was kind of banking on getting a a four block one here, but well, I think. Oh god, I think that's that is maximum damage for what I can do to this guy, and it's still not even gonna take a chunk out of it. Why are you playing Tetris? I thought you were playing Splat. Yeah, dude, it's Splat themed Tetris. Yeah, we we lose this one. play with you anymore. Oh wait, hold on. I was going to check the uh, card decks. I don't even, I don't even remember how to do that. Hold on. Well, that's not the right button. Is it in here? Hard bit exchange. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. So, because I've been getting these bits from getting doubles and the packs and stuff, and I had no idea what they were for. But I guess you can exchange them for specific cards that you want. What? See, like, I don't know what would be good. The only thing that, like, I really, like, know that I like are, like, the tiny ones like this, because I can fit those into real small spots to build meter, but... Obviously, you can't just have a whole deck full of those. Oh, and some of these don't even have the, like, the core block on them. You can get Grizz. Oh, there's, a uh, ultra rare cards out here. look at these actually getting spoilers yeah I've got the uh, the crusty Sean sleeve yeah there's like I think I don't think they're like oil cards in the way that like real cards are where it's you can get a standard version of the card and then a shiny one. I think it's just the like more powerful cards have foil on them. Right, we've got that long piece, so ideally I want to like 
get over there and block off as much of this as I can, as fast as I can. There you go. You know what? That'll, that'll do. And I can just build out from the bottom over there and just encroach into his territory. Or I can try. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah, that's way too big. What am I thinking? Wait, hold on. Dude, this this guy was not prepared for the trouble I'm gonna cause in his base. Wish you had potato chips. You got a job. You can buy potato chips. Think. You could be out there living your best potato chip filled life. Like, you could, you could go to Walmart right now and you could get one of those those boxes of chips where it's like 20 of those little bags of chips. You, you can have a variety. You could be living a variety filled potato chip life. The doctor said not to have too much salt. Okay, well then I guess you might be a, a little fucked then. No chip for you, sorry. Get mad at me. This is this is a your doctor thing, all right? I'm stupid. What am I doing here? And let's see, pick this because there's enough room for it somewhere. Where I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Whatever, I didn't, I didn't want to use it anyways. No, we've got, we've got plenty of meter, dude. We could just be out here ruining lives. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do some, some other Shenanigans. Um, how can I use if I can use a special on a different one to get into his base somewhere that I would have room for this? That'd be nice. But there really isn't a lot of room for. I think that's the play. I would have to be able to come up with two more cubes though. Yeah. Not worth it. I ain't I ain't worried about it.
Now, this dude's kind of screwed. Like, he has no choice what to use a special. And then he didn't even do that. He might not have had any two point cards. All right, that's enough. That's enough of this. Oh, I can fight him at a harder difficulty now. That'll have to be for another time. It's now it is time for Bayonetta. <laughs> 